Hey guys, it's your humble host, or if you prefer, so I'm back with another video. Um, I really haven't touched this topic. I have been watching videos on the subject of Desmond is amazing, and I'm aware of what happened with uh, him stripping in the gay bar at 3 o'clock in the morning. I've actually seen the footage. No, I'm not linking it here because it's rather revolting, but it is floating around YouTube. Anyway, so I just got done watching a video by Sinatra Says. I'll put a link in the description below. No, this video is not sponsored. He's not sponsoring me in any sort of way. I just got done watching it and decided to look up uh, what's the recent update and what I found was rather disturbing. I freaking called this. I knew they were going to clear the mom of um, CPS or she was going to get cleared of any child abuse or wrongdoing, anything like that, because another YouTuber, and I will put her video in the link in the description as well, Anna Marie um, called CPS, a few others called CPS on the mom of Desmond is Amazing. Um, so I'll have that video in the description below and everybody, I guess, in New York investigated, but because New York is very, very left-leaning, as a sanctuary city, um, pretty much that's another state that's really gotten rotten to the core. I expected this. It's heartbreaking. I've been talking about this on my streams, in my video, that this is where it's going. I'm not kidding. And again, I'm going to reiterate here, this is nothing to my viewers who are post-op, pre-op, um, transitioning between. This is nothing to do with you guys. For the people who want to be left alone, you know, go about the life, they're made the decision. This has nothing to do with you. I, this is not for you. This is not to be targeted at you or be spoken at you, okay? And that goes for anybody who is uh, bi, um, straight, gay, who um, also just wants to live a life and be left alone. That's This is not for you either. Um, so I'm reading from lifesitenews.com. Um, mom whose 11 year old dances in drag at gay nightclubs cleared by Child Protective Services. Of course they are. I freaking called this. So <clears throat> I'm trying to do this quick. New York, March 12, 2019, drag, quit, excuse me, drag kid Desmond is amazing. His mom has taken to social media to vindicate herself after state and local agencies determined that she has not committed child abuse by allowing her young son to perform in gay bars. So they're pretty much telling her it's okay if you sexually exploit your mentally disturbed and damaged boy. Way to go, New York. A barrage of allegations of abuse and exploitation were triggered when a video of Desmond performing in a in drag at the $3 Bell, a gay club in Brooklyn, New York, was released last December. The internet and social media quickly erupted with calls for child welfare authorities to intervene. Child Protective Services investigated Desmond's family, as did the New York City Administration for Child Services, the New York Police Department, the Child Advocacy Center, the Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the Department of Labor, and the District Attorney's Office. Because of the numbers of reports they received, our case went all the way up to the governor's office of Wendy uh, Naples, Desmond's mom. We had announced visits and unannounced visits to our home nearly daily and all hours and at Desmond's school. Our family was probed more intensely than any other case before. Now, this may sound familiar because I believe um, Sinatra read an article that had that bit in there. I don't think it's the same exact article, but yeah, no, Desmond's parents have been cleared of child abuse and any wrongdoing, which is really messed up, but really expected considering the way that New York has gone. Uh, this past weekend, the police posted on Instagram a series of 10 photos of the exonerating letters she has received from the concerned agencies showing that the assertions of child abuse were unfounded. Oh, let me click on this and we'll go through those here in a second. Uh, we've been accused of child abuse, exploitation, and maltreatment to the point that we have been back into a corner trying to defend ourselves. Um, she said in the Instagram posting, we've been under a microscope since early December. I never thought I would have to breach my own privacy and confidentiality to prove me to provide proof that this has been demanded of us out of malice. No, you are exploiting your child in a sexual manner. I'm going to just kind of skip through a little bit. Uh, within the laws versus the best interests of children, when while Desmond's mom dismisses the public concern as harassment because no crime has been committed, some suggest that what is legal might not necessarily be in her son's best interest. And that is true. Just because something is legal does not make it right. 
um, our laws for the most part are there to protect us, but there are times where the laws do change and not for the best. They actually create more problems. And it has been shown time and time again over these past few years. Um, earlier this year, blogger Elizabeth Johnson, better known as the activist mommy, whoever that is, um, urged updating laws to protect children like Desmond. Johnson asserted the laws protecting children <laughs> from sexual exploitation are not being applied to the LGBT community, saying it's 2019 when apparently it's not only okay to be gay, but also okay for grown gay men to pay little boys for dances and bars. And as I said, this is where it's going. Um, as I mentioned in my stream and in video um, a few days ago, before this past weekend, that it is going to get to a point where it's going to be all or nothing. Um, there was a new hashtag, trans cult, where they are trying to push inclusivity everywhere and they have broken so many boundaries. Um, like I said, they've gone off after rape victims. They've been going after our children for a while. Again, hashtag not all. Again, let me reiterate. Um, I know transsexuals that are post-op free off and in between. Uh, Traname is a post-op 10 years um, 10 year process. She's had a 10 year process. She's one of the ones that I actually respect and I can go, you know what, you live your life. I don't agree with what decisions you made, but I respect you as a person, I respect what you've done and things like that. So, and then there's another one that constantly visits my channel, um, Tatiana Whitaker, I believe she is pre-op in between transitioning. Excuse me if I got that wrong. But these are the people that I'm talking about, and I'm sure there's many, many more um, that just want to live their life and be left alone. And they're dragged into this. And I've told them, like, it's going to get to a point where it's going to be all or nothing. You guys are going to have to pick a side, too. Uh, China May is considered a gatekeeper uh, in the trans community um, because she speaks out against um, pushing this crap on children. She uh, speaks out against uh, using transsexuality as a... Uh, trend, which it has very much become, and it's just, it's, anytime you go to confront the issues in this particular realm, it is always met with, oh, you're being homophobic, you're being transphobic, you're being sexist, you're being misogynistic, whatever other bullshit line they want to toss out at you, but this is where it's going, they're going after our children, um, we can see the radicals, they're going after our children, um, as for you guys who've been around my channel for a while, I've been covering a, uh, situation that saved James, where you have a mother who's trying to force her son, um, to be a girl, and he's considered gender dysphoric because he dresses as a girl around his mom, and then he is very much a boy around his dad, and what is clear with that is that he only does the girl thing to get his attention of his mom, because otherwise not his mom ignores him. Um, I've had interviews, I've had talks with Jeff, I've had live streams and things like that about the subject, going over the court documents, and it's been discussed that she ignores Jude. So this is a growing a trend. We're seeing more and more articles. It is now being pushed that you can get accused of child abuse for not affirming your child's confusion. This is where it's headed, people. I'm not transphobic. I'm not um, homophobic. But the writing is on the wall. There's going to be a line drawn in the sand, and then there's going to be a freaking wall built. This is where it's headed. I'm not kidding. Um, for those of you who like to mock and make fun and name call and all that wonderful stuff, again, I'm going to say it, and I've said it before. Uh, the Christians called this. Um, I have a Christian background, and this this was foreseen already. Um, so I, I don't know what else to say. Let me finish up this article <clears throat> and then we'll go look at this Instagram account. I don't even want to look at those letters, man. Uh, Desmond's mom defends, says times are changing. Uh, Desmond is never allowed into any bar area of any club and on the main floor. He stays backstage with me, which is bullshit because he's out on stage at three o'clock in the morning in the dressing room or on stage only. So he's still alone in the fucking club. It must be noted, however, that this is not against the law in New York City for a minor to be in an establishment that serves alcohol as long as they are accompanied by an adult. Desmond was the sole performer for the performance at the center of this controversy and he performed three numbers. Well, of course he fucking did. 
This venue took measures to make sure it would be age appropriate and the audience members that attended were respectful and in good con No, they weren't. They were shoving dollar bills under the clothes as they were a, a stripper. He got treated like a stripper. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I know a lot of drag fans, drag queens, do not want to see kids in what they consider an adult form of entertainment or event, and we've talked about this. Me and my co-host Ichabod Orange or Sisters Quest have talked about this. The drag community is very sexualized. It is not something for kids to be in. There's another uh, drag, quit, uh, queen, drag kid, queen like Tisha or whatnot, and he's seen with a photo where he's fully dressed, but he's standing beside a naked man who has his drag stuff on and high heels and holding like a fancy bag. That's not okay. <clears throat> that opens the door to pedophilia, and this is what they're doing. I'm sorry. I'm going to call it for what it is. Um, but drag is changing, becoming more widespread and popular with people who are ages, genders, identities, race, abilities, and disabilities. Um, it needs to stay among the adults, not go to the kids. My son is a professional drag performer, not a stripper. Bullshit. He got treated like a stripper. You just made him into a kid stripper. Congratulations. Um, and employees in an early January Facebook posting, no one forces him to perform. Performing is what he loves to do and has always loved to do. He got, okay. A child does not do this shit by themselves. They either see something or get exposed to something at a very young age that they do not understand. And there's also speculation. I do not know if this is true. There's an interview where Desmond is sitting between two men, and I forget the names. One of them has a uh, solitary pass of his own, where Desmond just looks like he's out of it. He looks like he's drugged up. He's he's dazed. Um, he's very spacey. His eyes are continuously like trying not to close all the way because he, lo he looks tired as hell. So, um, he was a ballet dancer for four years and is currently earning an A plus grade in drama at a school. I don't care about any of that, she continued. He's extremely talented in his celebrity and character impersonations. His costumes are less revealing than a dancer's or cheerleader's uniform, but they're still sexualized. Some of the stuff that he dresses in is still very sexualized. It doesn't have to be revealing to be sexualized and are always age appropriate. Bull. Um, while he dances, he does not move in a sexual manner. Again, bull. Uh, she asserted he often collects tips, as drag queens sometimes do. That is called stripping. When you take off your fucking clothes with a jacket or one, and you have people shoving dollar bills in your clothing, that is stripping. Oh, my God. Uh, which we allow him to keep, and he uses to buy clothing and toys he wants. So there are no boundaries for this kid whatsoever. fucking ever. Uh, his engagements are contracted and booked by his management agency, who, again, apparently has some fucking morals. She added all of his performances are conducted in accordance with the Department of Labor regulations for child performers. <laughs> Even some drag queens, gays, and liberals object to Desmond's adult club performances. Well, no fucking shit, because kids don't belong in that area. Um, I left after seeing a child dance on stage for money at nighttime. This was on Saturday night. Excuse me, Saturday night, and I've been feeling disturbed ever since. Set a Patreon on the app shortly after Desmond's drag. Dance act at the $3 bill in December. Another said the club exploits children and sexualizes them in the wee hours of the morning and then warned that it was that it has provided just the ammunition to homophobes everywhere and endangered the community. And it has. This is, you know, there are other children who are, you know, <laughs> human trafficked, they're sex trafficked, and they're made to do the same shit, if not worse. You're exploiting your child. I'm not going to defend this. And once again, the writing is on the wall. I'm not homophobic. I'm not transphobic. But you... no. So here's the letters. Let me get rid of this little ugly black box. Okay. Um, this is from New York State Official Children and Family Services. There's the address. Um, let me click through these. Um, I, I don't care for your address. Okay, are you going to show the freaking letters? Oh, my God. Um, can I make this bigger? I cannot make this bigger. Okay. So she gives a name. Okay, so I can read this a little bit. Um, this letter is to give you the results of the investigation to report a suspected child abuse or maltreatment. Uh, investigated by the local CPS office support was determined to be unfounded. Of course it was, and I fucking called it, because it's New York, um, and they've gone very left-leaning, and if it's LGBT-related, it's okay, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. 
Uh, this means that CPS did not find believable proof, even though <laughs> he was scripting in front of gay men at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because that, that's fucking normal for a child. Uh, credible evidence that a child was abused or uh, treated. Unfound reports are illegally sealed by the New York Statewide Central Registration of Act and Abuse and Maltreatment, SCR. This means that the SCR will keep a record of the unfounded report, but all the information will be kept confidential and not shared with any person or organization except for the very few circumstances that the state law allows. Okay, so, and sealed reports would be expunged, which means destroyed 10 years after the date. So, yeah, no, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I don't need to read that any further, because you got your answer. Uh, so, yeah, um, this legitimately pisses me off. You know, I said something, uh, oh, God, I'm so sick of this shit. I'm so sick of seeing it. I'm so sick of reading about it. You know, I posted something on my personal Facebook. Um, and even on my graphics page. And I don't care if people call me transphobic, homophobic. I'm not. But, you know, there are boundaries. I'm all for living your life, liberty, love, pursuit of all. But, you know, no, no. We, you, uh, children, rape victims... Uh, claiming child abuse for parents who, you know, don't bow to this bullshit and sacrifice their children to this disgusting agenda. So I said something the other day about pretty much how hell is on our doorstop and you have both fatherhood and motherhood being destroyed and children are left in these very weird situations. And I also said that I don't want kids. And this is a very good reason as to why I don't. Um, because I would have to battle this shit. Ugh. Ooh, not trying to get emotional, but, you know, when you have a country, when you have a state that does not protect their own children and will in turn rip the children away from their parents because the parents are doing what they need to do to protect their kids and trying to deal with the confusion, um, no. No, I don't want to deal with this. I don't. I I don't want to have the possibility of my uh, child being ripped away. I'm I'm scared, legit scared for my nieces and nephews, to which I do have, and um, one of their mothers, because uh, um, one of their mothers has already expressed fear over other things with what the feminist movement has been doing in regards to. Uh, demonizing men, um, toxic masculinity, patriarchy, all that other bullshit. So they've, one of them has already expressed fears over what is going on. I haven't seen anything from them in regards to this stuff. But yeah. Be no. Anyway, um, tell me your thoughts below. This video is not monetized by any means. Obviously, I'm going to leave a link to the article. I'm going to leave a link to Sinatra Says Video. And I'm going to leave a link to um, Anna Marie's video and the Instagram um, post. Again, boundaries. There's, I, I, I'm telling you, and people have been saying this for the past few years, it's going to be all or nothing. And people are going to have to take a stand and pick a side. I'm not kidding. This is where it's going. Laugh, mock, I, I don't give a shit. But you know what? I've already made my stance. You guys have a good day.